STATE HEALTH OFFICIALS TOLD LAWMAKERS TODAY THAT UPCOUNTRY MAUI RESIDENTS HAVE TRACES OF WASTEWATER IN THEIR DRINKING WATER. ANOTHER PROBLEM AREA IS KAHALU'U, WHERE TESTING SHOWED HIGH LEVELS OF SEWAGE CONTAMINATED WATER. OFFICIALS BLAME THE 88,000 CESSPOOLS STATEWIDE, EVEN PINPOINTING 14 AREAS THEY SAY MAY BE IMPACTING DRINKING AND SWIMMING WATERS. UPCOUNTRY MAUI, THREE AREAS ON Kauai, FIVE ON THE BIG ISLAND, AND FIVE ON OAHU. THE HEALTH DEPARTMENT SAYS THE WATER IS STILL SAFE TO DRINK, BUT AREA LAWMAKERS SAY THAT'S NOT GOOD ENOUGH. BRIDGET NAMATA ASKED THE TOUGH QUESTIONS. BRIDGET? Joe, this is what the DOH told lawmakers today. They know upcountry Maui's drinking water is contaminated. They're concerned it could happen in other parts of the state. They're afraid of a public health concern that could also potentially affect tourism. But lawmakers says they're frustrated because health officials don't know enough. There's also just the basic point that we're drinking wastewater that I don't think everybody wants to do. The health department spent years researching the state's cesspools. Officials told lawmakers they found areas of high concern, like upcountry Maui and Kahalu'u on Oahu. In upcountry Maui, health officials discovered the drinking water is contaminated, yet still safe enough to drink. How is that possible? Well, I asked the health department's deputy director. The water overall is safe to drink, according to the maximum contaminant levels, MCLs, um, in every parts of the state. There are concerns, like in the up country Maui area. It has not reached the maximum contaminant levels yet for nitrates, but the levels that we're seeing in, in one of the wells shows a, a level of concern for us. The water is safe to drink, but that doesn't mean we're under a problem. In Kahalu'u, officials found 740 nearby cesspools contributed to sewage contaminated surface waters, where there have been reports of skin infections. The health department told lawmakers today that federal guidelines state all cesspools, including residential, must be eliminated by 2050. It will cost $1.75 billion. But the DOH tells me there are a lot of unknowns which don't sit well with lawmakers. And what they've admitted is they're not sure how, how bad this problem is. I don't know what's worse, what we do know or what we don't know. It's pretty clear we need to come together and figure out a solution because we've been ignoring it for too long. Representative Keoho Kalole says he's coming up with a plan on how to fix this issue. The DOH says it will be meeting with the community to figure out solutions. Joe? Thanks, Bridget. The Board of Water Supply does have a way for you to check the quality of the drinking water in your home. You can access your water quality report on the Board of Water Supply's website. Just input your address and it will first alert you whether your water is safe or not. Then you have the option to view your full report. That reveals test results, what kind of contaminants have been found in your water, and where your water is coming from. For a link to that website, go to khon2.com.